Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be going through my summer sandal collection because summer is here. Summer's here in a big way. We're in the 20s now, summer's here. So is the sunburn, look. I did that yesterday, it's very unfortunate. Always wear SPF, lesson learned. Right, yes, so summer sandals. I'm a big fan of a summer sandal, if I'm being honest. I like a summer sandal very much. I have a whole plethora laid out on the floor in front of me. So I'm just gonna get stuck straight in there. Right, so I'm gonna start off with these, which are my Hermes Oran sandals. I was just trying to think when I bought these, I feel like it was 2017, that's a bit of a guess, but I reckon it was around that kind of time frame because it was after I got married and it was after we went on our honeymoon, which was 2016. So that is my, my math. So I always go back to our wedding and try and gauge when I bought something based on our wedding date. So I reckon these were about 2017. I have them in the tan color. The reason I went for tan at the time was because I had a lot of black sandals, which I still have a lot of black sandals and you are obviously gonna see them today. And this tan was actually a really good match for Judith, my low heavy puzzle bag. And I just feel like tan is an equally kind of versatile color to have, especially for a summer sandal. It's a nice lighter color. I get asked a lot about the comfort of these. And I think I've spoken about these previously in other shoe videos and other designer related videos. These, I'm not gonna lie guys, they obliterated my feet for like the first, I would say 10-ish wears approximately. After that point, fine. Very, very comfortable. Now, every single year when I get them out, super comfortable. I don't have any issues at all but I really had to power through those first 10 wears because they shredded my feet and there obviously had to be some downtime in between wears as well for my feet to heal. So worth the pain eventually, but just as a warning, they will definitely cause blisters. And for me, it was the baby toes that unfortunately suffered the most with these. Moving on to my Chanel dad sandals, which of course you guys have seen quite a lot recently as I've started to talk more about sort of spring and summer clothes and shoes and accessories and bits and bobs in my videos. These I bought last year in August. They were a little birthday gift to me, from me, the best kind of birthday gift. And yeah, I love them. They're actually, I was today actually going to do worst or no, most and least worn shoes like I did with the bag collection or most and least worn bags a couple of weeks ago. But instead I decided to just show you all of my summer sandals. But actually when I was contemplating doing that video, these were going to be in my most worn category, even though I only got them last year and I got them in mm, like mid August. So that was relatively late in the summer season technically. I've still had so much wear out of these because I wore them quite a lot in the early stages of autumn as well. As I've mentioned previously, they're such a Marmite shoe. They are still a bit of a trend at the moment. However, I purchased them knowing that for me, comfort is a big issue. And I heard that these were super comfortable. I can 100% vouch for the fact that they're super comfortable. I had blisters the first two times that I wore them. And after that, not again. So I think it was just a case of getting this leather used to the shape of my feet. And then once that happened, super, super comfortable. They're always the sort of sandal which are my go-to if we're just gonna nip out. Obviously at the moment, we're still in this stage of COVID life, but they're always my go-to if we're just gonna nip out, go to the post office, go to the bank. They're kind of my easy go-to sandals. But at the same time, they're also something which I personally feel provides a style element to my summer outfits as well. Next up are my dear Francis, and these are called the Kin sandals. These are very, very similar 
to the row Ginza sandals. So for me, I wanted something that had that same kind of very basic style. It is essentially just a glorified flip-flop, but I didn't wanna pay over 600 pounds for them. So I bought these from Dear Francis. These are, oh God, I can't actually remember off the top of my head, just over 300 pounds. However, whenever I buy from Dear Francis, I always wait for those days where they offer 20% off or 25% off, which is, I would say, quite frequently. And so I bought them with that discount and I'm so happy I did. They're quite heavy and actually I haven't tried the Rogue Ginza sandals on, but from the photos that I've seen, they have a slightly thicker sole, slightly more of a platform. And I don't think that they're as heavy as these, but again, I haven't actually picked them up. These don't have a great deal of flexibility if we're talking about sort of pros and cons, but I love them. I think they are such a chic staple to have, so much so, I also have them in tan. Now these ones I bought last year, the black, but the tan I bought earlier on this year, in fact, earlier on this season. And again, I waited until they had a little discount. So I bought these again with a 20% off discount code, which takes them down a considerable chunk. And the reason I bought them in tan additionally was because I loved the black so much. I found them comfortable. They rubbed a little bit initially in between the toes and kind of on the top of the toes under this section here. But uh, I think after about two or three wears, they became super, super comfortable and there was no kind of rubs or irritation. Now I've already mentioned that I have a lot of black sandals, so I'm kind of trying to get a few black ones out the way. These are my oldest pair of sandals. I've had these since 2015. They are, they're knackered really. They are absolutely knackered. I took these on our honeymoon, which was a six week road trip around the States. We did a lot of walking. I literally took these and a pair of Converse. So yeah, they had, they've done a lot of miles. These walked, in fact, we did it one day in San Francisco where we walked 17 miles and these were what I wore. So I can vouch for their comfort. They are very, very comfortable. I think I need to get them resold because I'm about to wear through that sole. It's now so thin. They are obviously quite an unusual style because it's kind of like a glove and then your toe goes through the end section, which I think is probably a bit of an acquired taste, but I really like them. Granted, I haven't worn them as much over the last few years, and I think that's purely because they need a little bit of TLC. I probably need to give them a bit of padding in there to give the structure back to this element, and also a little bit of a, a clean and a bit of a leather condition, I think, just to kind of bring that black back. And as I mentioned, I should really get them resold. So it gives a new lease of life to them. But I still really love the style. They're very, very minimal. And yeah, in terms of comfort, they would definitely be a go-to of mine again if we did another sort of long stint of traveling. Right, moving on. These are actually a new pair of sandals for this season. I was gifted these by the brand. The brand, I should have looked this up before I started this video, but we all know about me and my pronunciations. Eid, Aid, Ida, Ada, I don't know. They're a German brand and I have two pairs of shoes from them, but I was just gonna speak about these ones first, which I got in a cream color. They also have these in a strappy sandal, like I know these are a strappy sandal, but one with more of a heel. I really like the brand. I really like the quality of shoes. I would say they're kind of on a level with Dear Francis in terms of they're not super, super high end, but they are definitely more of a premium price point, but they're just really minimal, really well-made, high quality shoes, which I think are definitely worth the money. And yeah, I find them super comfortable as well, which is quite unusual for something that's so strappy. I have only worn these ones around the house, but I have another pair here, which I did actually wear out last year. But these are more of, well, I would say slightly more elegant shoe. They're something which I find that look a bit better with more of a, I don't wanna say a dressy outfit, but when you're sort of trying to be a little bit more polished and not so much chunky dad sandal, they're definitely a more feminine and a more elegant form of summer sandal. And then these are the ones which I had last year. Again, sorry, I can't remember the style name of these, but these are very similar. They're just in a snakeskin effect leather in kind of like a 
taupey neutral color and they are more of a mule slide. So they have no strap that goes around the sort of ankle or around the heel area. They're just a slip on. And again, these are really comfortable despite having these really sort of skinny straps. And they would be similarly to these ones because they are a thinner, more sort of elegant shape, something that I would wear a little bit more of a chicer kind of outfit. Right, going back to Dear Francis and back to black. I'm trying to kind of space out the black and them and the neutrals. And again, they're just, I suppose, a more elevated flip-flop. So they are that typical thong style where you've just got the piece here that goes through the toes. And then the leather, I suppose, is a little bit thicker than what you'd get from a typical flip-flop, like a Havana or something like that. And they do have a, little, a slight little bit more of like a block heel at the back. So again, I feel like similarly to the Aid Eyed ones, they are a little bit more of a dressy, more of a smarter kind of summer sandal. But my gosh, and I've said this so many times whenever I talk about Dear Francis as a brand, they are so comfortable. If there's one kind of element that I would choose Dear Francis for above any other shoe brand, it would be because of their comfort factor. I've never had a pair of shoes, and this goes for loafers, boots, any of the shoes that I have from Dear Francis. Nothing compares to them for comfort. Moving on, something not so high price pointed now, and that is Birkenstocks, of which I have three colors. So I've got tan suede. I have, these are called faded khaki suede and then I have black oiled leather. Now they're all the same style, they're all, I'm gonna give you the demonstration with this one because it means that there's less black on the screen. They are all the same style, they're called the Arizona which is basically the footbed style with the two buckles or two straps which go over the top of your foot. So very much a slide in kind of mule sandal. I, I think I mentioned this Mm, perhaps in one of my recent-ish videos. I feel like a bit of a deja vu in a deja vu, a deja vu in saying it, but I was late to the Birkenstock party. I was not a fan of Birkenstocks for so many years. And I don't know if perhaps Birkenstocks kind of just come with age. I don't know, but I warmed to them last year and then I think this goes for anyone who's ever had a pair of Birkenstocks. Once you have your first pair, you're like, ah, now I see what all the fuss is about. In terms of comfort, I find that they are incredibly comfortable. They give good arch support. Obviously not everyone has the same shape of feet, so arch support, arch support will vary. But for me personally, I find them super, super comfortable. They're also relatively lightweight, which is always nice for a summer sandal. They have good sort of hardy soles to them, which have got a lot of wear. So if you're gonna be one of those people not like me who has a plethora, but you go and invest in like one or two solid pairs of summer sandals, they are the kind of sandal that you can wear and wear and wear. And also another good thing about Birkenstock is that they offer repair service as well. So it's not a case of, oh, I've worn these to the point where they're like quite worn now and worn down on the soles. They actually do offer a repair service where you can have the footbed changed and also the soles, which I think is great. Right, again, another non-designer pair. And I do get asked every kind of summer season if I were to go for a brand of summer sandals that is not designer, so more affordable options, who would I go for? And my answer is Massimo Duty. So these ones I bought last year, quite early on last year, because I think these were actually from, yeah, the limited edition collection. There is a shoe designer called, I think it's Emmy Parsons, and these are essentially a bit of a dupe of Emmy Parsons. And I got these with a little cheeky discount code at the time, so they were under 100 pounds. They're real leather, very sort of strappy style, but they do fix with a buckle around the ankle, which I think the Emmy Parsons style that I was looking at don't, and I just kind of preferred the security of these. 
They are a really nice pair of sandals. I think that they're really chic, they're really elegant, but also I find that they look really good with a more casual outfit with something like a pair of jeans. I did like wearing these a lot last year with dresses. I just thought that they worked really well and I just love this kind of strappy aesthetic that they've got going on. All these really thin, strappy straps are nice and padded as well they're not they don't have sharp edges they're very rounded and the leather is buttery soft the only thing I would say if I was going to give any form of advice to anyone when looking for a pair of strappy summer sandals is to avoid straps that are quite harsh so anything made of like patent leather <gasps> no I've been there, done that, and they have absolutely shredded my feet. So I would definitely look for things with more of a padded, rounded strap and always just feel the leather. If you're out and about shoe shopping, just have a good feel of the leather. And if it feels super soft, I think you're gonna be okay. So much black. <laughs> I know people are going to be like, how many pairs of black sandals does one woman need? Well, in my opinion, you can never have too many. For me personally, I have a lot of black in my wardrobe and also a lot of neutrals. And black goes very well with neutrals. And I do get wear out of all of the black sandals because they are different. They might all be black, but they are different styles. These are from Dear Francis. Again, these are called the Bridge Slides. These are in the black suede. Suede is a super, super comfortable fabric to have for summer, or I personally feel that anyway. These ones are really, really soft. The only problem is that they can look, I don't want to use the word tatty, they can look worn a lot quicker because suede will fade, it will mark more than leather. They're a little bit harder to clean. Um, and also if they get wet, they're more likely to stain your feet, whatever color they've also been stained. I know that's a lot of negatives, but that's just my kind of take on, I always kind of err on the side of caution when I'm looking at suede. But they are incredibly comfortable again, as with all Dear Francis shoes, they've got this nice little padded footbed and they're just a really very minimal classic style. Just a typical sort of slide shoe. I often wear these with jeans or with linen trousers. And again, like the uh, more flip-flop style ones, they do have this nice little sort of block heel, which is, mm, I suppose it's a personal preference. For me, I kind of like not being super, super flat. So with my Hermes Oran sandals, for example, they are just, totally totally flat whereas these do have a little bit of oh, elevation so I often find that that's just a little bit more comfortable but personal preference I suppose so yes those are my no they're not I was about to say they're my last pair of dear Francis shoes but they're not I have two more pairs finally to show you guys right finally my last two pairs of sandals they are the exact same pair of sandals it is the dear Francis tie slides it is very safe to say these are my favorite pair of sandals you might be able to tell or you definitely will be able to tell from any close-ups I do they are very very worn however the soles are holding up really well which again I can't even tell you how many times these have been worn so many times and actually I keep these sandals by the back door so or throughout summer anyway so at the moment they're my sandals that I have at the back door so when I come out early in the morning I water the plants and I just potter about in the garden take the covers off the garden furniture if I go outside <laughs> If I go outside to put the bins out, yes, I put the bins out in 300 and odd pound sandals. But they're just one of those super easy and super comfortable pairs of shoes, which I absolutely love and have loved for so long. So much so that I did buy this I can't remember what colour this is, but it's basically cream leather. I bought these ones earlier on this season. I actually bought them at the same time that I bought these. So again, I got them with that 20% off discount. Um, these ones I have worn twice, but only really around the house. Did I wear them out? I think I might have worn them to the supermarket the other day. And it's so funny when you get the exact same pair of shoes to notice the difference between like comfort levels 
they start off as being an incredibly comfortable pair of shoes, but these for me now are like super, super worn in slippers. They have molded to the exact shape of my feet. So now I just need to give these a few runs so that they can get to the same level as comfort, but they are already very, very comfortable. They've got this really nice smooth, and again with them being dear Francis, a buttery soft leather it's absolutely beautiful and this really nice molded and smooth footbed a couple of questions which I think Simon read out to me a couple of weeks ago is people asking do I get like a creaking sound it really depends on the temperature outside if my feet have got a little bit sweaty then yes, there might be a little bit of a creaking sound because it's my foot kind of moving around in in the shoe. But otherwise, I, I, I don't think I could actually give you any negatives about these shoes, aside from the fact that because they're a mule, sometimes they fly off. But I mean, you don't really buy a pair of mules without know, knowing that. So it's not really a negative, is it? Right, I'm just double checking that I have covered, yep, I've covered all of the sand. Right, so those were my summer sandals, my summer sandal collection, if you will. If you guys have got any suggestions, perhaps you've got a most loved pair of summer sandals that you've had for years, let me know down in the comments. And thank you, as always, for watching. I hope you're all enjoying the glorious weather. I hope wherever you are in the world that you've got some glorious weather and that you're all well. And I will see you next time.